Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Jurassic World, the game on Monday. Yes, we're doing Jurassic Park slash World Mondays, where we play both of them, Jurassic World Live and Jurassic World, the game, so you don't have to complain at me for not playing one when the other one's also on the channel. So, what have we got today? We got big updates. Yes, if we look in here, Glyphornix is ready. A level 40 Lithonyx and a level 40 Gryphodon, I think it is, or Glyphodon, have been fused to finally make this bad boy a legendary hybrid. Hi hybrid? Hybrid? <laughs> Glyphornax. Finally. Ooh, there you go. A level 40, 7,400 health and 2,300 attack. It's a good old rounder. And for whatever reason, it also has two fingers because, well, we know why, don't we? It's lazy. Well, here it is in all of its glory. And what do we say when we... Oh, it looks like he's got such dumb eyes. Look at him. He's adorable. Bless him, he's yawning. So let's claim some food. The dark coloring of the Glyphornax makes it an effective night hunter. Well, I thought, well, I mean, couldn't you say that about anything, though, if it had dark color? Like, shouldn't you say that it has amazing night vision that would make it a, okay, whatever. I mean, I don't know why Lithornax and a Glyphodon would make it um, a good nighttime hunter? <laughs> An armadillo? Okay. Okay, Lydia. I tell you what, you can write your uh, your fan fix about your hybrids, anyway, but uh, I won't question it. <laughs> so, uh, no good, no good ones here. Uh, that was meant to be a card pack. Here we go. Um, so we have the... I don't know how this happened, but for the end of March, we were allowed to vote on what dinosaur, what creature we wanted in the tournament the most. And apparently, apparently, this thing won. The Megarchalon won. Now, I can kind of see why. Um, because... You know, you need a Megalodon, which I think you need to unlock. And you also need an Archelon, which you need to unlock. Um, so a Megalarchalon kind of makes sense. However, I was really hoping it would be Segna Sutures, because getting one for free, I mean, they're super expensive. And it's a herbivore. And herbivores are really, really hard to come by. In fact, where is my Segna Sutures? Uh, oh, it would be a herbivore, right? Um, so it should be up here somewhere, I would have thought. Am I, just, am I just missing it? I'm probably just missing it, aren't I? It's here somewhere, I believe. Oh, God. Well, it's in the park somewhere. It's definitely hanging about somewhere. So we've also got these guys. Free, 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 free. This is the new uh, fish that has uh, I unlocked um, the past week. Hynernia. Oh, look at it. Yes, it's a cave, which is pretty decent. Um... Unlike the land battles, uh, the glacier and aquatic battles have a good variety of different power level creatures. So it's not all carnivores. You've got good surface, good caves, and good reefs. Good reef! And now we have eight of these guys. Look at it! Ooh, we could do a fish feeding grow thumbnail and get millions of views. Millions! <laughs> no one will do that. Uh, but maybe I will. So here we go. Let's see what it looks like when it hunts a little fishy, a little mackerel. Ooh, oh, look at them. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, it looks so cool. I love it. They put a lot of uh, effort into this model. It looks really good. Look at the detail on that. <gasps> wow. Now, Hynernia, uh, as far as I know, in pop culture, made its first debut in a series called, a BBC series called Walking with Monsters, where it would use its powerful flippers to go on land and catch amphibians. Now, whether or not that was true, but it did have powerful forelimbs, so maybe it did kind of be like breach itself like an orca or something. But we're going to get this guy. Oh, look at that. He, yeah, get him there. We'll get him to level 40 because that's what we need to do. Uh, it's going to cost me a couple of bucks. Oh, God, maybe it will. We're on 9,000 bucks now. Remember this. We are seeing a drastic increase in our book stocks and shares because we have, of course, done the fidelity. Um package. We're not doing VIP. We're giving up on that. Now, I mean, look at this. Your VIP exclusive saves you 159 uh, Australian dollars to 89 Australian dollars. Now, I have accidentally switched, or I didn't, well, I was checking to see if there was a new game, actually. I'll admit, there might have been a new game coming out for Jurassic World. Uh, I don't want to want to see if it was out early. Um, but it wasn't, and it was just a mock-up. Uh, so I need to switch back to my own account. So if we buy this one for instead of 5,000 bucks, 3,750, we might get a chance of getting a Microbosaurus. 
So I'd rather not. <laughs> I'd rather not do that. Um, and for whatever reason, you actually get a better offer for Fidelity instead of VIP. Because it's usually VIP that gives you more off. But uh, hey-ho. There we go. A little bit there, a little bit though. Hey! Is that a song? I think it's a song. Um, so we've also got a few more battles to do. We've got 22 hours to do Ur the Shattering. Now this is the new thing that Ludia are doing. Um, to unlock certain dinosaurs, if not all the dinosaurs, uh, you have to un do battle events like this. The Spinosaurus pack. Instead of just doing the infinite battle stage and unlocking some via that way. And I guess it's not too bad. Uh, some people are annoyed with this. I don't know how, what the extent of that is, if it is really that bad. Um, but that's a level 11 Hainuni with a little bit of a red head. So we're going to have a look at you. How do you look? Oh, I prefer the other one. I prefer the first one. The first one looked cool. Mm. I'd prefer if it went the other way around and it started go becoming more realistic. But uh, we'll level this guy up. We'll definitely level this guy up. Um, ah, damn. Damn. More bugs. I don't have time for bugs. Also, I made a meme and I posted it on Instagram. And yet, uh, Instagram butchered it. Even though I definitely didn't put it like that. But the meme <laughs> it was basically... Uh, for, for months now. For months. Whatever reason. YouTube has been promoting my Arcalon tournament. Um, I, I have a list in my uh, my dashboard or my you know behind the scenes of the channel, and it tells me what videos have oh don't sell it no um, get the most views and all that jazz. And in the top twenty or at least definitely in the top twenty or at least maybe in the, even in the top ten, always Arcalon is in there. Whether it's number one some months, whether it's you know number ten, it whether or not whatever, it's always there. And I have no idea why. Um, I had uh, Clayton actually, if you don't, Clayton Fiorti, he, he commented saying that maybe it's watch time because it is a two hour long episode and if loads of people watch it all the way through, that's a lot of watch time. Um, and I said that I would be inclined to agree, however, I have a lot of videos that are like an hour long if not two hours long. So there's no reason why this one's doing significantly better than any other um, uh, video I've done. So, I, I still have no idea. Still have no idea why claim the rewards, all the food. So what is this? About eight feet in length, the Hynera is named for a town near where it was found. Hynera, Pennsylvania. Uh, the powerful fins of the Hynera mean it may have been able to crawl around on land for brief periods. Again, I think we're, we're going off probably old paleontologically accurate facts. But hey, what does it look like at level 4? Well, we're going to see it anyway, because I want to max it up. So here we go, level 30. Ooh, that's better. That looks like a happy end. Oh, what was it? What was the fish monogamous in Jurassic Park Builder? Oh god, we've got a... We've got a code 19. Ooh, well, first, let me do this. Oh, come on. Come on, this is 80 bucks. We've already lost a thousand bucks just trying to speed this guy up. There we go. Beautiful. Woohoo! It doesn't really have too much, uh, what do you call it? Uh, health and attack, does it? For It's mainly attack, actually. It's got almost 500 attack and 600 health. Yum, yum, yum. Rum. You eat the fishy. So we'll let max you guys up as well. And we'll go to you and max you up. So there we go. Two level, well, one level 30, two level 20s. But let me just do this. Because now that we've freed up the incubators, we do have some super hybrids to put in there. Now, not too long ago, there was an offer to trade, um, was it 40,000 DNA for one Eupocephalus pack, which could give you a decent load of Eupocephalus super DNA. But I'm okay, uh, because I know I've got to buy all of that um, hybrid that we've just unlocked, the Lithornax hybrid, Lithornagriff or whatever it's called. All right, let's just do that, da 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 all the DNA, yes. <laughs> yep. And yep. So we were on 50, and now we're on 90. Wow. Good grief. So it's an extra five. Oh, we got another one with a 275 DNA. Now, it always says, it's weird. It says up to 270 odd DNA. However, we won't get that because I've failed already. But at least I failed first because it means I, didn't, I don't fall down. But I won't get the max um, benefit out of it. But even though it says up to 270 odd DNA, you can still get high. I don't know why it doesn't calculate that. 
I mean, usually in card packs, it says up to a certain amount of bucks. And I've never seen um, anybody, or myself anyway, get over the max limit it says, like up to 50 bucks. I've never seen, I've never got like 60 bucks or 70 bucks or even 51 bucks, you know. But in this one, it does say up to 200 and odd DNA, but you can definitely get higher. Uh, I mean, already we're, we're approaching pretty high, but this one, this one's tough. I mean, there we go. It said up to 200 nod, right? 270. We would have got like 400 or 500 DNA there. And another five. Woohoo! Yes. So we'll claim that because we spent a lot of food. Uh, we don't have any of that. We still got to get to Dominate League and then finish in Dominate League. Oh, we've got a lot of events to do. Is there anything that's going to... Oh, we got... No. No, it's basically just the Shake the Earth tournament. I don't even know where I am. I barely played it. <laughs> to be fair, I was like, oh, I don't want to win that. If it was saying the sutures, I would have played it, however. Ooh, land dinosaurs are 10% off in the market. <gasps> Ooh, this is perfect. Ooh, well, let's feed this guy. We'll get you to level 10. So 2,029 health and 634 attack. Oh, we're doing so much. Events, new creatures, aquatic, and land. Right, so let's buy you since we get 10% off. So instead of 60,000, it's now 54,000. That's really good. When you get offers like this and you need, you've got a lot of bucks to spend, you save a lot of bucks. Uh, so we may as well 54,000. Damn it! Oh, I didn't mean to put it in there. Ah! <laughs> well, we'll do this final one up to 490. Wow, this is going to be tough. 490 DNA. We could get like 1,000 here. Uh, oh, it's not the bottom one. It's not the hardest. Woo, guys, we're gonna get a lot of DNA here. 20 already. Now, we gotta be careful. We could do this. Okay. No! <laughs> Damn it. Oh, well, we're not gonna get that much. This is really quick. There must be, like, a lot coming up in a second. Damn, we could have got a lot of DNA there. I'm not really too fussed about DNA, though. Um... Even though I don't have too much of it. I used to have like millions of DNA or at least hundreds of thousands of DNA. And now I, I barely have a hundred thousand. Oh, six. Oh, wow. 20 to 60. Craziness. Oh, are you kidding me? I hit that. I don't care what you say. Ah, damn it. Ugh. Well, we got 10 for that. So that's pretty good. Um, now for the dinosaurs that we can get the super hybrids for. Uh, we'll go here. I think we can get another mono stegatops. We can hatch a Diplosuchus and uh, can we get that? No, we can't get that. We can't get an Indoraptor. We're pretty close. Um, we got a super hybrids. We can hatch that. He takes a long time anyway. No, he doesn't. Never mind. But it's only a couple of bucks. And how about a mono stegatops? There we go. We can do a mono stegatops. That's so two more. Um, what is my super DNA looking like? 1,000 Eupocephalus DNA. Now, I'm pretty sure you only need... Uh, what is it for Eupocephalus? Where's Eupocephalus? Oh, it's this guy. We need like 2,000, I think. Yeah, we need 2,000 to unlock that. Potentially one of the best dinosaurs in the game, though, because of it. Um, so let's just do a, a quick few battles of this. Oh, no, one Hyenernia. That's right. <gasps> Hyenernia. Maybe I don't think we'll get to use it, though. We'll put you to level 30. Oh, there we go. That's more like it. So in this video alone, we've spent so far a thousand bucks. Uh, probably th millions of uh, food to get to level 30. Look at it. <gasps> Still looks way better in its first evolution, though. I'm hoping for something good in its final. Hoping. Hoping. Fingers crossed. Here we go. 90 bucks and 120 bucks. Oh, there we go. Oh, it looks pretty decent. Yeah, that's good. Wow. So 719 health and 592 attack. How does it look? Oh, I still prefer it. I still prefer it. It's level one. Still prefer it. So there you go. Level 40, 853 health and 703 attack. Woo! I'd prefer if it was a richer color. Everything's dulled down blue, but uh, I'd like it to be very red. It probably is out of water because everything's got a blue tinge on it in here. But there you go. So a uh, hundred bucks. Uh, 200 bucks. So we get some back. So what do we, what other facts do we have? M at maximum of around 90, sorry, 12 feet, Hynunia preyed on many smaller fish, including sharks. That's a big, that's a big fish. Uh, the only fish related to Hynunia bigger than it was the Rizodus, which measured up to 18 feet. And possibly that could be a hint to more creatures coming to Jurassic World the game. Maybe we're going to get Rizodus, which is an even bigger one. Woo. 
So out of all my creatures that I've got, um, out of aquatics, is there any that I don't have yet? Uh, I don't have Lizichthys, and I don't have Suchodus, and I don't think I missed it either. So these two still have yet to come. Probably be an un unlock pack. So let's do a battle. This is now if you're gonna do battle for survival, here's my tip: always put a good creature in. Actually, uh, those are probably fine. It used to only be two battles, but they put it to th uh, three, which is a bit of a nuisance because then you could easily just put an Alankosaurus or Alank. Is it Langosaurus? Langosaurus and the herbivore. Can't remember what the herbivore is. I think the herbivore is a really good one in Jurassic World Alive. Here, it's not so much, though. Ooh. <gasps> one, two, three, four. Ooh, it could kill me. It could kill me. Oh, he goes for it. Beautiful. Now, normally, uh, we, yeah, we don't have to worry about that. Yeah, so one, two, three. Kills it. And there you go. Waha. <laughs> Woo. Well, we're going to get some super DNA for this anyway. Oh, wait, what? A fourth? Whoa, do you normally get four shots? What's go Oh, have I just clocked over? What's going on? I, I thought it was always three, not four. Ooh, maybe. Maybe they've updated this game so you can just constantly get super DNA. <gasps> Ooh, that would be good. Liddy, you're doing a really good job recently with your games. If that is the case, I might be wrong. Maybe it was always four. So look, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Right. And the next one. And the next one. There we go. And two more, I think. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thing is, when I record a lot, my voice goes. And my voice is going. <laughs> oh! Ah! Damn it! So close. Well, two new DNA is fine. Two new DNA is fine. I'll take it. I'll take it. What were we doing? <laughs> I might as well buy another one, mightn't I? If I go to here, I mean, seeing as we need it. Oh, I need a couple more DNA. <gasps> Although at level 20s, I don't need. I don't need to spend DNA on it. I need to buy another two. And at level 20 is probably. It's gonna half. It's gonna have what? 1,000. 150 attack and 3,000 odd health, and it's a carnivore. I'd rather spend that money on it. Look at Segnesuchus is way cheaper and double the attack. Almost double, like literally the 20 off. Double the attack. And Segnesuchus is a herbivore. So good. And even then, why not go for Metro Metrophodon? For a thousand extra DNA, you get more than double the attack and a little bit less on the health, like a thousand and odd, like two thousand. But even then, it's a flyer. Ugh, you just don't want you done. You really don't. Carnivores, for whatever reason, they cost the most, but they're the least needed. It, 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 the, the, the market's wrong. It should, Sengli Suchus and Metrophodon should be the highest in as like according to uh, DNA cost, but for whatever this game wants to do, yeah, put carnivores, even though there's millions of them. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. Oh, Labyrinthus. No, it's not Labyrinthus. It looks like something else, though. There's another, um, it's a legendary, and I, I can't remember what you need to fuse it, but it looks like Labyrinthus. But it's never used. And I need to unlock Spinosaurus as well. I do want to see where Hynernia stacks up in my roster for aquatics. So once we get this, oh God, there go the headphones. <laughs> once we get uh, this uh, survival pack or whatever. Is it survival? What's it called? Battle for survival. <laughs> once we uh, do this, we'll have a look to see where it stacks up. I mean, it's a legendary, so it's not a hybrid. Uh, so it's not gonna be too high, but I don't know. I'm expecting it to be pretty high. And you need it maxed anyway, because you're probably gonna get a hybrid for it. So two attack. Me as well, it dies in one. Oh, God! One, two, three, three hundred, four hundred. Nah, it can't kill me. It can't kill me even if it goes for three. However, if he blocks for three and then has four, he will be able to. But even then, he'd be dead. Ha-ha! <laughs> you Raptor, you're dead, son. You're dead. Woohoo! 200,000, I think that is, for the food. Always good. And I... Woo, Binogamous for the Clash of the Titans. Decent. I will actually pay... I didn't get the last one. Can't remember what it was for. Obviously nothing in particular. Oh, here we go. We do have a battle event for it. So, let's have a look. Where is he? Wait, where is he? Oh, there he is. Wow. He's lower than Styxosaurus. <laughs> Probably because he's got nowhere on the health and 
like not even double the attack. But it's there, we got it. So we just want reef, uh, sorry, surface. These guys are super tough, but we don't need to put in a tough team. That's good enough. That's good enough because we get, you know, to double the attack. Or 50% extra the attack and nerf their attack. <laughs> All those levels mean nothing, do they? No. Right, okay. Now, the reason I, I've, I'm just going for loads of reserves is because we need them. And because our Plotlosaurus level 30 is going to be our most important creature here. 20 is okay. Really, it should be Styxosaurus out first because the Plotlosaurus level 20 is better. But uh, I'm confident that we're going to win this easy. And already we've got eight and they've wasted loads on blocks. So as long as you always factor in two extra, like I have just done, you're, you're assured the kill. I mean, they'd have to go for three block. And even then, that's, that's taking a lot of theirs. So there you go, he's dead. But that's not too bad. Because here comes 1,200 with seven. And we do the same again. So one, two, three kills it. Factor in two and then two reserves. And there you go. Whoopash. Easy done, man. Easy done. And that is the creature that we, I don't know. I, I don't think I've, I don't think I've unlocked it. Well, I, don't, I haven't unlocked it, but I don't think it's been available. It's like a tiny little crocodile. It's so small. They should put some variations and scale some up, scale some down, because if something just has the animation of another creature, it looks around, it's always gonna be around about the same size. So here we go. Ooh, a high nearly level 156 with 2,000 attack. Oh my. So at this point, it's pretty safe just to put in surface because we wanna get Hynernia's attack down. Um, so I'm gonna put a surface, uh, should we put a reef in? We'll put a reef and then a surface to kill Hynernia because he's gonna switch into it. And then after that, uh, you moon to finish off the other surfaces. So we'll go for one reserve right off the bat. Um, and we should have went for block, actually. We should have went for block. Because he can kill me. 3,200! Oh, and he goes for it! Bam! Oh, I should have blocked. But anyway, we can kill it in like two hits. So I can go for two attack, and we're safe. Because I'm pretty sure Plesiosaurus doesn't have 2,000 attack. Yeah, there you go. We're fine. So, you guys really wanted this, did you? Really wanted this thing? Ooh, you bugger you! No, die! <laughs> oh no! Oh, I've just left it alive, damn it! <laughs> I could have killed it, oops. Well, he's gonna go for two, leaving with one block. And we're Reef, so he's gonna nerf his attack. So we have to go for two, so one, two, and then two block, because he might have five. And how much does... Ooh, it's around about 2,100. We have to go for three block, because if he doesn't block, which he didn't, he can kill us in three. So that's very lucky. Played that well. Now, hopefully, he does go for five here. I don't want to take the risk. He might not be able to kill me, but... Ooh, yep, he would have been able to kill me. Definitely. Definitely would have been able to kill me if I'd went for only two block. And there you have it. Woo! Don't get to see the finisher animation, though, because we're impatient these days. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, I would love to use Hynernia, but um, it's just not really useful. Actually, you know what it is? Because he'll, he'll switch in a his Styxosaurus, and then we'll kill the Styxosaurus. And then out of that, the biggest threat is Geosaurus. So we need a... probably Yeah, we'll put in Dunkleosaurus. Oh, off he goes. Woo! So, uh, we'll go for one block right off the bat. We could almost die in one hit, <laughs> even with the nerve. He might not even switch. Yeah, may not even switch. Okay, so sorry, we're gonna have to go for two reserves. Ooh, what are you gonna do, like Pluridon? Little sea unicorn wizard. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. And there's the death. There's the pain. <laughs> Right, but we have five and you have naught. So we're going to go for that. And hopefully, uh, Lyplodon shouldn't kill me. I mean, he has the ability to do it, but then we got Dunkleosaurus in. Uh, ooh, goes for one. Okay, so he's only got two block. We have six. Uh, one, two, three kills him. Factor in two block and then one reserve. And that is game, set, match. Done. Geosaurus can kill me in one. Wow. Who would have thought Geosaurus? Woo. Two, yeah. 
knew, he knew, he knew he could do it. And finally, Dunkleosaurus comes in, and we'll just sweep five. Wabash! 22,000 damage for three hits. <laughs> now that thing is nuts. I think, you know, Mega Archelon might be pretty good too. But the final one for On the Tides, and we need a lot of caverns. So one cavern, followed by a surface to counter the Plotosaurus, followed by a good cavern. And there you go, we can lure them in uh, to switch in the Plotosaurus, and then uh, Orden Catfish, or the or or Orthocanthus, can kill them. So there you go, as predicted. And there you go. Now, because we don't die in one hit, we can actually go for one block and one reserve and start saving. If you have the ability to do that, um, you may as well. Ah, there you go. And now, because we don't really need uh, Gillicus, we can just go for four reserves. We want him dead so Tylosaurus can kill the Plotosaurus. Um, that allows us to just get loads. So there you go. Um, I think, is that it? He might have had one extra, though. So because we've got eight, we can afford to go for one extra. So one, two. Uh, doesn't kill him. Three does. Factor in that one extra. And then four reserves. Done. Wabash! And we want Tylosaur dead so the orth uh, Orthocanthus can kill them all. Oh, we didn't have one extra. Okay, so one, two. Um, oh, he doesn't go for it. Wow, Tylosaurus might be able to do it. Factor in two. And did he go for two block? He did, and Tylosaurus does it. He's so excited. He was flapping his fins about. So one, two. Uh, three, four. He's going to have to go for four out of his six, leaving him with two block. But we've already got two extra, so we can go for four hits without even worrying about him blocking. So he's dead in two. So we had two extra. We could have went for uh, four attacks there and two block. <laughs> but we didn't. And there we go. What do we win on the prize wheel? What is it? Chances of winning the pack, very low. Uh, but we could have won a Lee Zixthes. That would have been really cool. But we didn't. And I'm not going to bother. I ain't going to bother. So we're going to collect that. 60 bucks and collect those as well. Going towards another Mono Stegotops and another Indoraptor. And that is where I'm going to leave it. Because we're going to have a long and bloody video if I kept on going. And my voice would be ripped to shreds. <laughs> but anyway, guys. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.